it's time for another Stephanie reaction video. This one is WTF happened to Miley Cyrus. What the hell is going on? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another What the Fuck Happened To video. My neighbor is watching me. That's so awkward. Wait there. As you will see in this video, looking what? like a very rich influencer or a celebrity takes a lot of time, a lot of work and a heck of a lot of money to look as perfect as they do. Which isn't a bad thing, like do what you want, it's your own face, no one should ever tell you what to do with your own face, I stand by that motto. But please don't ever look in the mirror and compare what you see in the mirror to what you see on Instagram or in the magazines of these rich famous celebrities and influencers because unless you have the resources, the money in the bank account and the epic plastic surgeons on speed dial that they have. Uh, I wonder who has me on speed dial. It's just not comparable, is it? This is why celebrities and influencers have such intense glow ups. Honestly, guys, this video is a doozy and there's a lot to unpack here. So grab yourself a cup of tea because this video is going to be longer than usual. So just a few months ago, Miley Cyrus appeared on Jimmy Fallon's The Tonight Show and her fans, let's just say they were in shock. They were confused. Miley! I actually haven't done a Miley video yet, so let's uh, see what she has to say. What happened? Says one fan. What's happening to Miley? I didn't even recognize her! Says another. And I can see why. This is what Miley used to look like back in 2006 when she burst onto our screens and into our hearts as Hannah Montana at the tender age of 13. And then when she began her career as a singer, she looked like this. And then during her Liam Hemsworth era, she looked like this. Very preened, very polished, very pretty. And now she looks like this. Still very pretty, but very different. What happened? So Miley Cyrus, real name Destiny Hope Cyrus, was born in 1992 to parents Tish and Billy Ray Cyrus, who was a celebrity in his own right. Do any of you guys remember the song? Don't break my heart, my achy breaking heart. No. I don't know. I don't. Loved that song when I was a kid. Yes, I am that old, okay? I was alive in the 90s. To me, young Miley looked a lot like her dad, Billy Ray, who incidentally actually starred with Miley as her dad in Hannah Montana. Isn't that a fun fact? Strangely enough though, within the space of about 10 years, which like, guys, in the course of your entire lifespan, 10 years really isn't that long. She's gone from looking naturally more like her father to being like a cloned copy of her mother. It's like she's morphing into her mum, and I find it so interesting interesting. Maybe Miley and her mother are getting similar plastic surgeries. Could be. First of all is the very obvious change in her eyelids. Miley used to have pretty prominent hooded eyes and they were so beautiful. Hooded eyes, despite popular belief, are not a flaw. Nobody could ever look at a young Miley and say that her hooded eyes were ugly. Like they just wouldn't. She was gorgeous. She still is, let's be clear. But she was gorgeous to begin with too. Looking at Miley's eyes before and Miley's eyes now, they are so different, which I can see why. Yeah, you can see that the brows have been lifted and that there's more supertarsal show. So likely there was an upper blepharoplasty performed as well. It would lead to people speculating that she may have undergone hooded eyelid surgery. This is where a surgeon will basically go in and remove, like they'll cut off the excess eyelid skin that you may have and then sew your eyelids back up together. And then because you have less skin, you don't have that overhang. Therefore, you no longer have hooded eyes. Therefore, your eyes are more open. Remember that a brow lift can also do that and is usually part of the treatment plan. And you really should do the brow lift first. And once you have the brow set into position, then you can see what impact that has on the upper eyelid. And then occasionally some people will also benefit from removing excess upper eyelid skin. So then that's what's called the blepharoplasty. So it's really brow lift plus minus blepharoplasty in most cases. Kind of like what Renee Zellweger is rumored to have had done. But honestly, guys, I don't think that Miley has had hooded eyelid surgery. I think that as Miley has grown older, because she is 30 now, which isn't old, but it's older than like 13, I think that she's lost that puppy fat that she used to have in her face and as such has lost some of the fat that is stored. You know what's interesting is that some of the lash serums that exist out there with prostaglandins, such as latanoprost, those types of serums can actually cause orbital fat reduction. So people can sometimes experience more hollowed out eyes because they've tried to use something to regrow their eyelashes, which is a pretty interesting fact. But behind your eyelids, and that's what's made her eyes just like opened up so much more and made her eyelid such a different bloody shape. Also, if you look at her mother Tish's eyes, Miley's eyes now look 
very similar. So I think it could definitely just be Miley's genes that have made her eyes look so drastically different. I don't think it's just the genes. I think it's the result of most likely a brow lift coupled with an upper blepharoplasty and potentially these effects of prostaglandins that I mentioned. Now, a totally unnecessary procedure that I do think Miley has had done, and I don't know if you guys agree with me on this, but what the heck is going on with buckle fat removal surgery? And this is just my opinion. Feel free to tell me your opinion in the comments down below. It is the daftest plastic surgery one can have unless it's needed, but I'm not. We've done many videos about buckle fat removal, so I'm not going to belabor this point, but definitely check out our videos on that topic. Anybody would need to remove their buckle fat. I mean, maybe there is reasons why, but I don't think Miley needed to remove her buckle fat. And maybe she hasn't but it certainly looks recently like she has. If you compare pictures like this of slightly older Miley from like two years ago to Miley right now, like this is, these pictures were taken. I can believe it. It definitely looks like the mid cheek area has been hollowed out. I definitely think that that's possible. Just a few months ago, where the heck is her buckle fat gone? Why is having natural fat under your cheekbones where fat is meant to be, hence why it's there, why has society and Holly Weird suddenly decided that that is actually a flaw? and it can be corrected if you undergo surgery. What the fuck? I just don't get it. And I look at these people who have allegedly undergone buckle fat removal and I'm like, you looked so lovely before. Like, I just don't get... Like, why did you remove it? Like, why bother? And with Miley, she always had a lovely, full, like, cherubic, angelic face, and it suited her. We're not all supposed to look the same. We're not all meant to have these, like, chiseled, gaunt cheekbones of, like, the 90s Kate Moss, for example. And now, don't get me wrong, guys, Miley looks extremely beautiful in these recent pictures. Like, she does. I think we can all agree on that. But it just doesn't look like Miley. When I saw these pictures, I was like... I gotta double check my sources here because that's not Miley. That's clearly like a Photoshop mock-up of what some people are starting to look kind of like the same person, you know, because they're getting the same procedures done and oftentimes by the same people. So they, they basically stop having the features that make them who they are and give them that uniqueness. And they're all kind of fusing into like one common appearance. One imagines Miley to look like, but no, that is actually Miley Cyrus a couple of months ago. But one thing I don't think that Miley has had done is lip filler. What? Oh, come on, man. Now, I know a lot of people think that Miley has gone overboard on the lip filler. It's kind of the popular consensus, especially on YouTube, that Miley has had everything under the sun done to her face, including lip filler. I don't think she has had lip filler done. If you look at really old pictures of Miley, like literally from when she was a child, she always had full plump lips and her lips pretty much look the same now. I don't think that she's had lip filler. I don't think she's gone. But even in this picture that Stephanie is showing here, if I look closely, it looks like there's some migration of filler beyond the vermilion border into the upper cutaneous lip. You could see that type of shadowing there. And that is typically what we see when filler has been placed and it's migrated outside of the red lip zone. Overboard, if she's had any, I think it's only a tiny, tiny amount because honestly, I think her lips pretty much look the same. And I know they start them young in Hollywood, like there are tweens and even children that have had fillers and plastic surgery done, but I don't think Miley is one of them. However, in saying that, one thing I do think Miley had done at a pretty young age is a nose job. I mean, your face will obviously morph and change as you age and as you grow, but your bone structure and your nose rarely shrinks. Don't hold me to this, but I have read that your nose and ears continuously grow bigger your entire life. But Miley's nose... Well, that's true uh, because the skin continues to expand, kind of like a balloon that's being blown up. The skin on our bodies, throughout our body, is continuously expanding as we age, almost like the universe. And so... As that happens, you're definitely going to find that the nose is going to appear a bit bigger, the ears a bit bigger. So yeah, when things are shrinking over time, that's likely the result of surgery. Is the exception to the rule and has shrunk, which leads me to think that Miley has actually undergone a nose job at a pretty young age. She wouldn't be the only one. Bella Hadid actually underwent a nose job, which she is now admitted to at the age of 14. 14 is, is very young, I have to say. Women generally or girls will get plastic surgery on their nose earlier than guys, but 14 is, is still incredibly young. It wouldn't surprise me if Miley, who was also a child star, it wouldn't surprise me if she also underwent a nose job because her original nose was quite bulbous. And I don't say that like it's a bad thing. I had someone pull me up on my video that I put live this morning, actually. And they were like, so you call Ariana Grande's nose bulbous and then say it was a beautiful nose. 
Having a bulbous nose is not a bad thing. There is nothing inherently bad about having a bulbous nose. Like what? This is why it's true. so many people feel the need to get surgery on their face to change their bone structure and their cartilage because people have told them that their nose shape is a flaw. Having a bulbous nose, there's nothing wrong with it. Miley's original nose was so cute. I've actually done a video all about noses. I'll put it up here because I feel very passionately about noses and the different nose shapes. Anyway, I think Miley had a nose job and I think that they made her nose too thin. I think having a slightly thicker bridge actually suited- I definitely see what Stephanie is referring to here. It looks like the bridge of the nose has narrowed as the, the tip as well. It still has some semblance of her old nose, but it definitely looks smaller. Miley's face, because I feel like it balanced out her large features. Like she's got really big eyes. She's got a huge, beautiful, sunny smile. And I think having a slightly wider bridge just and the way that the bridge is narrowed in a case like Miley's would be through osteotomies where the bones of the nose are actually broken to allow them to come together and for that bridge to look thinner. It suited her. If you look at adult pictures of Miley, instead of her nose growing bigger, her nose is like shrunken. And the thing is, when you change one aspect of your face, it kind of throws off other aspects of your face. With Miley, I think her potential nose job has led to other aspects of her facial structure looking really different, such as her philtrum. Your philtrum is that little area between your nose and your top lip, like your mustache area. That's called your philtrum. Miley's philtrum seems to be growing longer. It used to be quite short. And now, as you can see, there's quite a large space there. When your philtrum changes, it can change the whole look of your face. Another thing, however, it's important to keep in mind that a rhinoplasty can actually lead to the philtrum getting longer. And that's something that isn't often discussed when people are going in for a rhinoplasty consultation. It's just not mentioned. It's not that the plastic surgeon is trying to deceive somebody not at all it's just something that you know even as i trained in rhinoplasty surgery it wasn't something that was ever really talked about that the philtrum could get longer it was never like a common observation but as people started to appreciate the filtral distance more and as lip lifts have become more popular now people are realizing that one of the common reasons for a longer philtrum is prior rhinoplasty and many patients come to me having had a rhinoplasty getting a longer philtrum and now wanting it shortened through say a lip lift. So that is something that we're likely observing with Miley. If she had the rhinoplasty, it likely made the philtrum longer in her case. Apart from a nose job that can change the size and shape of your philtrum is fiddling with your top lip. And I think Miley has been doing a bit of fiddling. If you look at younger pictures of Miley, you'll see that her top lip would raise. Also keep in mind that the philtrum lengthens on its own, just like Stephanie said, with the nose and the ear getting bigger as we age. Same goes for the skin of the face, of course, as it's starts to get thinner and saggier and also the filtral length will increase as we age so even if you never had a rhinoplasty and you're starting off with a short filtrum that distance does gradually increase over time fairly high when she smiled revealing a lot of gum above her top teeth this is colloquially uh, colloquially called a gummy smile. And just like having a bulbous nose, people seem to think that having a gummy smile is a flaw. But I love a gummy smile. You cannot look at Miley's original smile and tell me that there's any flaw there to be seen. Her original smile is just so happy, so infectious. I wanna smile when I look at her. But it seems as though Miley or some people in her camp weren't a huge fan of her gummy smile and wanted her to get it changed. Because when you look at her smile now compared to her smile when she was a kid, it's pretty different. I'd hazard a guess that she potentially had Botox in her filtrum. So if you get Botox in your filtrum, in your mustache. And again, that's not something that you get once. That's something they need to keep repeating every three to four months to maintain that effect since Botox doesn't last longer than that. There is a new neuromodulator called Daxify that's supposed to last longer, like six months. Area above your top lip, it will relax the muscles there. So when you smile, instead of your top lip flipping up and revealing loads of your top gums, like Miley's smile used to do, you have relaxed the muscle there. And so your top lip is essentially can't move. However, what is interesting to note with Miley, if you go through pictures of her like throughout the years, you can kind of see when this potential Botox in the filtrum wears off because like in some pictures, you can't hardly see any gum at all. And then in other pictures, voila, her gums are back and her lip is sitting higher. Another thing I think Miley might've had done because her teeth look so different from when she was younger to now, I think she had a gum lift 
which is as horrendous as it sounds. I made the mistake of Googling and watching a video of a gum lift being done. I'll put it on the screen here for you guys. It's actually not that bad, but basically a dentist will go in with a laser and laser away the gum above your teeth to make your teeth look like taller and longer and your gums recede. Gum lift? Sure, I believe it. I mean, it definitely looks like there have been obvious changes in her dentition. So in addition to probably some veneers, maybe she had this gum lift procedure. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out Stephanie's channel. Subscribe here as well, and we'll see you in the next video.